Hello, in this short video we're going to take a look at searching an array of objects. In a previous video you will have seen how to create an array of objects and how to store details in it and how to display those details. And what we're going to take a look here in just a couple of moments is how to search that particular array of objects for any one object by one of the attributes of that object. The best way to see this is by an example. So we'll refer back to our assessment example that we've been looking at in the past. So just to recap, our assessment example has a GUI that allows us to enter an assessment name, assessment type, and an assessment weighting. And then we hit the Add Assessment button, and what that does is it creates an assessment object, and it adds all of the details to that object, and puts that object in an array of assessment objects called R. What we're going to look at now is searching that particular array by type. So we're going to enter a particular assessment type and we're going to pull out all of the assessment objects in the array with that particular type. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add an assessment button. So we'll drag out the button, we'll edit the text on the button so it says search by type. Let's just make that font a little bigger so that it can be seen correctly. Okay, and then most importantly, right click and change variable name. So this becomes search btn. We need to make sure to give all of our components on our interface appropriate names. So what we want to do is we want to click this button and when the user clicks the button, we want to first of all, give them an input box th where they can enter in the type of, de of assessment they're looking for, okay? And that of course is going to have to be stored somewhere. So string search type and We'll use the J option pane just to give them the window dot show input dialog null comma please enter a search type. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to check each object in the array of objects to see if it contains the type that the user has entered. So for example, they may have been set up as formative and summative assessments. Um, if the user enters formative, we want to search each one, take the type out of each object and see, is it summative, okay? So if we're going to repeat ourselves over and over again, we'll use a loop into i equals zero, i less than r dot length, because we don't know how many objects are in this particular array, and i equals i plus one. Within there then, we want to check if the search type as specified by the user equals, okay, and we'll even do ignore case just to alleviate any issues about the user capitalizing words or not. So if the search type equals the object that's in I index in the array dot get type, because we want to pull the type out of the object and compare the type with the search type to see if it works. If we leave out dot get type, we're going to be comparing a whole object with a string and we'll get an error, okay? So if they are equal, we simply want to print a message set giving all of the details of that particular object so that every object we encounter with that type will be printed. And the easiest way to do that is using a J option pane. And in the past, we've already done this line of code, J option pane dot show message dialog in our display button where it displays the name, type and weighting of a particular object. So there's no need for us to reinvent the wheel. We'll just print that one. We'll just copy and paste that line of code there. Okay, so we declare a variable to hold the type that the user wants to search for. We ask the user to enter that. We loop through each index in the array, pulling out the type from that object and checking if it matches the type the user entered. And if it does, we print out all the details of that particular object, okay? So let's see, does that work? It's just going to take a minute to run and we need to just add an assessment, okay? So the first assessment will be OOP exam, the assessment type will be formative and the assessment rating 0.25, okay? We can add that assessment. Let's do OOP project. This time let's make it summative. 
obviously I'm just doing these as examples. This one's not going to be worth anything. Add assessment. And finally, OOP quiz, which will be formative. And let's make this 0.75 add assessment. So if we display all, you'll see we have OOP exam formative 2.25. We have OOP project summative zero. And we have OOP quiz formative 0.75. And if we want to search by type, then we can enter formative and it should just then display the details of all formative assessments. So OOP exam formative 0.25, OOP quiz formative 0.75, but it doesn't give us the third one that we had entered. So you'll see it's straightforward enough. Loop through the array, taking each object one at a time, pulling the type out of the object and comparing that with the type that the user entered and then simply printing the details. And that is searching an array of objects. Thank you.